if you are preparing for any competitive exam then you need to memorize a lot of stuff so this video would help you with research proven techniques how to boost your memory and how to enhance performance and unlock true potential of your mind so hello everyone i am dr mayuk hajda i got two gold medals during my mbbs won three silver medals won over 25 medic quizzes which were national level including the prestigious gray matter quiz and got AIR 29 in NEET PG 2023. So all this I got, I dedicated only six to seven hours of time for studying. And within that limited amount of time, I did some smart work and memorizing techniques that helped me to achieve an exceptional results in a limited amount of time. So, if you watch this video you can do wonders and guys tighten your seat belts and get ready for the most research video on YouTube on how to boost memory and all the techniques were applied by me to achieve such results so get ready guys to make your memory that of artificial intelligence first thing is active recall now this is a functional MRI of the brain while reading anything. Here you can see activity in the occipital region and angular gyrus. So functional MRI is a scan that shows blood flow is maximum in which region. So the regions which are activated the blood flow in the brain increases in that region. So there is only involvement of the occipital cortex because of the visual stimulus and the Wernicke's area or the angular gyrus for processing the memory. But there is no involvement of the hippocampus that is responsible for converting the short term memory into long term memory. But in case of active recall, hippocampus is involved. So the information tends to stay for a longer amount of time. Now, first question would be how to do the active recall? Don't worry, friends, I am there. So the simplest way is recall from notes that is you study from your notes then just shut down your notes and try to recall what you have studied. This is the simplest way but it is not the most effective way. In case you find that you can't remember anything then open the notes and read it again. This helps uh, in active recall and it is the simplest way. The second way is testing. And giving test is one of the best ways for active recall. I have shown a research article also that shows that testing increases memory. So frequent testing in classroom may boost educational achievement at all levels of education. So if you are a NEET PG or INI set or FMG aspirant, a affordable app that is Reflex app is there to boost your preparation it has passed 10 years or more than 10 years of also need pg and aims question use it as a supplement for preparation like i am going to gym i am using creatinine as a supplement so use it as a supplement to enhance your performance in the main exam and you can also customize grand test from previous year questions i personally had used this app for four months after it was launched in January 2023, till my May INICT exam, I used it extensively. And it is very much helpful for those who are interns or post interns, helps to develop the reflex of solving the PYQs. So when you get the same question in the exam, you can reflexly mark that question and it would consume less amount of time. Also, if you are in any year, you can also solve a reflex because it has chapter wise questions also all the Instead links are in the description box below course. and in the pinned comment now section. now it has some new pattern time-based sessions of gps and previous year questions are also available so this is the app interface when the question was asked from aims aims is written and here you can see the number of questions and it is divided topic wise coming to the third point that is i feel is the most effective way is teaching if you teach someone any concept now you are not going to forget it 
too much easily. So teaching is one of the best ways. Like when I used to solve grand test also, I used to teach my friend or we used to discuss. He used to give some inputs, I used to give some inputs. So he had a longer time of memory and he got confident in some of the concepts. So if possible, try to teach someone. If someone is not available, try to teach yourself in front of the memory or writing on the board. Flashcards is another important thing and it helps in the active recall and one app is Anki. It is a very useful app like you write the cutaneous manifestations of type 2 diabetes mellitus. Now on the back side of the card you write all the cutaneous manifestations. So when the flashcard would appear then the question would be cutaneous manifestations of diabetes mellitus. Now you would have to recall all the points. After recalling, just click and the page would turn and you would see if any point is missed or not. So in this case, this app is helpful. But uh, during my preparation, I didn't use it because I was not exposed to this app. So I used some other kind of flashcards and I used to practice active recall. Like look at my flashcards. So these are the questions that were asked in the Instagram by the coaching institutes or some influencer. So uh, these are important questions only that are for PG. If you are preparing for any exam, there are Instagram accounts that ask question on that. So when I used to see the question, I used to recall all the stuff and I used to type it in my WhatsApp group. And I used to keep it there or sometimes I used to post it in the main account so that others could also be benefited. And this soft copy I had with myself. So while going into the rounds or while going anywhere in bus, train, metro, I could revise it easily, all the important topics in my mobile. So this is also a very good technique of active recall and memorizing things. Spaced repetition is necessary because you need to repeat the stuff as the synaptic strengthening occurs of the nerves of hippocampus. You know about the post titanic stimulation so this occurs only when space repetition is performed and it is necessary for long term memory this is available in the anki app also now stress it was a misconception that stress reduces our mental performance but recent studies have shown that optimum amount of stress increases seriousness and enhances performance like you have seen just before your exam that you tend to get serious and you memorize things better but it should be in a balance okay too much amount of stress could lead to anxiety and some acidity and ill health which could lead to decreased mental performance so optimum amount of stress is required you have to find the balance use of multiple senses our sensory organs are very much helpful in memorizing things so try to use multiple senses like i have shown it by a diagram you are reading something from any source any material any book and with the visual memory it could feed into your mind and you would memorize with that you read out the stuff slowly so that with the auditory pathway also see from the second pathway that is the auditory pathway also it gets into your mind now coming to the fourth point that is meditation. I give you an example that if your room is unorganized and it is dismantled then your chance of finding the pen in the right time is difficult. But if your room is very much organized and everything is kept at place, your pens are kept in the pen stand, then your chances to find out the pen at the right time is very much high. So, meditation also does the same thing, organizes your mind. So, when you are trying to recollect something, then you can easily get that. And how to do meditation? You can get any number of videos on the internet. So, go watch them there. And researchers have shown that meditation improves concentration also and improves memory power. Hit the gym because cardio exercises have shown to increase blood flow in hippocampus and it Decreases the dementia. So here is an image 
of a person functional MRI of a person during uh, during exercise and you can see the increased blood flow in the hippocampus region coming to the next oh yes so gym greatly benefited me because it helped me enhance my concentration so during the lockdown only I did starting gym and all the achievements you have seen all were achieved by me after my lockdown only so gym had a positive impact in my educational performance also and the mood elevation you get after the release of endorphins of gym is just unparalleled cup of coffee because caffeine has shown increased performance even i took caffeine tablet just before my neat pg exam because i had only two hours of sleep and i knew that i would feel sleepy or i would feel headache during the exam so i also told in my other videos also i took pcm uh, pentoprazole and a caffeine tablet so that i could focus properly in the exam and i focused completely well in the exam and see the research article that caffeine enhances memory performance in young adults during the non-optimal time of day so that was also my non-optimal time because i didn't have sleep and morning as such is a non-optimal time only our mind is not that much activated but don't take coffee after 2 pm okay because it reduces sleep and in the end we would see that sleep also has an important role in memory so up to 2 pm you can drink coffee and preferably black coffee without sugar because uh, milk coffee can cause some bit of indigestion mnemonics i don't need to tell to the medical students but for others this is a set of letters words and images that help you in memorizing stuff so this is just an example uh, you know this memory technique that is oh great god please bless your people so for memorizing the cannulas o for orange 14 gauge and 2 gauge you have to increase on subsequent great gray 16 god green please pink bless blue your yellow people purple like this many memorizing techniques of mnemonics are there i use personally and this helps to recollect and recall things better during the exam hall sleep so adequate seven to eight hours of sleep is necessary for memory consolidation because the nrem or the non-rapid eye movement stage of sleep helps you in converting short-term memory into long-term memory and the rapid eye movement stage of sleep helps you in the formation of emotional memory now if you are not having sleep properly then follow this 3 to 1 technique that is have your last meal 3 hours before sleep stop doing work 2 hours before sleep but if you are preparing for a tough competitive exam this is not possible so try to turn off all the lights of your room and study under a table lamp one hour before the exam just turn off all the screens because mainly the all the mobile or laptop screens because what the blue light does or any light does it goes through your eyes and it stimulates the suprachiasmatic nucleus which in turn inhibits the melatonin release and melatonin is necessary for sleep so there is reduced chances of getting early sleep or the sleep latency increases or you can even have insomnia so turn off all the screens just one hour before your sleeping time so what would you do at this time do the meditation and your night course like brushing your teeth doing some skin care and all good snacks because as you know that food raises blood glucose level and glucose is the food of brain so if you try to focus on an empty stomach your brain doesn't have food and it cannot concentrate so don't try to focus an empty stomach but also if you are fed if you are overfed or if you are fed very much then all the blood would go into the circulation of your gut 
and there would be reduced blood supply in your brain and you are going to tend to uh, feel sleepy. So, before your any exam or before your long hours of study, have an adequate meal. Don't have too much heavy meal or don't go empty stomach also. Both of them can impair your performance in the exam. Before going to the last point, if you are new to my channel, kindly consider subscribing and do like and share this video because this is a really research video. Share it with your, any friends or family members, those who are also preparing for any exam. Now coming to the final point that is concentration. Swami Vivekananda said, concentration is the essence of all knowledge. Nothing can be done without it. So how to improve concentration during your hours of study? I would say you to apply Pomodoro technique. This is the concentration curve as you can see. This is the concentration curve. It is high at the initial time and it decreases and in the end it is slightly being increased. This experiment you can do that when you go to watch any movie then after watching the movie you can recollect things better of your initial hours but uh, in the middle there is dhundla, dhundla memory and at the end you can remember things. So this is the concentration curve, this is the actual concentration curve and this is really problematic. If you are studying for 2 hours in a stretch then you are going to have decreased concentration and your efficacy would reduce. So what we have to do is that we divide it into few pomodoros. That is 2 hours of studying. I am giving 25 minutes, 5 minutes break, 25 minutes studying, 5 minutes break. So after studying 25 minutes, your concentration would reduce a slightly. Then you take 5 minutes break, then your concentration would again go to the initial level. Again 5 minutes break. Then again to the initial level, again 25 minutes study. Like this, do 4 Pomodoros. After doing 4 Pomodoros, take a 20 to 30 minutes break. Do some brisk walking or do some sort of light exercise or listen to music. Uh, but don't chat on your mobile phone or open social media apps because it is going to increase the stress only. So Pomodoro app is very much helpful and I used to do it from the forest app I have shown in my other videos also because it plants one tree and it also has the background sound. Um, and important thing is that concentration is influenced by the external factors and the internal factors. So in external factors the noise plays an important role like you can also hear that now some noises are coming though I am shooting this video at 8 am sharp. But there are some noises because my home is just beside the main road. So how I used to concentrate is that I used to use noise cancellation headphones and I used to play some music from the forest app only so that I could focus on it better. And internal factors you can take care that is the internal milieu or the internal tensions you can take care by proper medication and exercise. This would help you increase your concentration. Guys, as I have given you all the golden tips, don't procrastinate now. If you procrastinate, then this video is of no use. This video would go into vain. So apply these techniques now and see the marvelous results in your performance, in your answer sheet, in your report card, in your mark sheet. You would see these impressive results. So all the best, guys. And you can see another video popping up. So go watch the video now. And take care. Bye bye. May the gods watch over you. So guys, after shooting, I found out that there has been some technical glitches. So don't worry, guys. All the PDF is uploaded in my Telegram channel, that is Medico Magic, and the link you would get in my YouTube channel itself. So go. Join Medico Magic now to get the PDF.